हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम रीमा गुप्ता फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सेरेमिक्स फोर्थ पार्ट एंड इट इंक्लूड्स द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ आयनिक सेरेमिक्स व्हिच इज इन कंटिन्यूशन विद द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम द पेपर सेरेमिक्स so students let us see what we are going to learn in this module so we will be learning about simple cubic ionic structure then we will be learning about the structures of cesium chloride that is cscl next we will be reading about perovskites and other derivative structures so the properties of ceramic materials like all materials are dictated by the types of the atom present and the type of bonding between the atoms moreover it is also depend on the way the atoms are packed together the type of bonding and structure helps to determine what type of property a material will have so the ceramics usually have a combination of strong bonds called ionic which occurs between a metal and non metal and it involves the attraction of opposite charges when electrons are transformed from metal to the non metal whereas the another bond is the covalent bond so this type of bond occurs between two non metals and involves sharing of atoms among themselves so the strength of an ionic bond depends on the size of charge on each ion and on the radius of each ion the greater the number of electrons being shared is the greater the force of attraction and the force of the covalent bond so these type of bonds results in high elastic modulus and hardness high melting point low thermal expansion and good chemical resistance on the other hand the ceramics are also hard and often brittle unless the material is toughened by reinforcement or some other means which leads to the fracture so students in the following slides we will be discussing about the structure of ionic compounds so you can see that with different structures they have different properties due to the presence of difference in the alignment and positioning of the atoms in the structure so let us discuss about perovskite structures so the perovskite structures have a formula of abo3 they are abo3 type of compounds so the examples of perovskite structures are barium titanate strontium titanate lead titanate etc such perovskite structures are mainly titanates which happen to be technologically very very useful compounds as we will see in the later modules in abo3 structured compounds a ion is 12 fold coordinated by oxygen like dr hedra and b ions is octahedrally coordinated by oxygen ions the oxygen atoms from a fcc like not fcc exactly but fcc like cells with atoms missing from the corners which are occupied by a atoms so the bond strength can be given as for cation barium is 2 by 12, which is 1 by 6. For titanium, it is 4 by 6, which comes out to be 2 by 3. So the oxygen valence is equal to 1 by 6 times the coordination number of barium plus 2 by 3 times coordination number of Ti. So finally, we get 
वन बाय सिक्स टाइम्स ऑफ फोर प्लस टू बाय थ्री टाइम्स टू सो द रिजल्ट कम आउट टू बी टू सो द ऑक्सीजन वेलेंसी इज टू सो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वट इज पेरिस्काइट स्ट्रक्चर now you can see on the left hand side the structure of perovskite which is abo3 type so as the structure tells it has three types of atoms one is a type b type and oxygen atoms so in the present case the a type atoms which are represented by green color occupy the corners of the unit cell whereas the oxygen atoms which are represented by yellow color occupy the faces of the unit cell whereas the b type atoms that are represented by black in color are in the center so this is the perovskite structure with oxygen octahedra which are formed on the faces of the unit cell you can assume the same model as a polyhedra model for perovskite structure so if we extend this unit cell you can see the polyhedras at the corners which are formed so these polyhedras are of oxygen where we are taking a type atom at the centers and b type at the corners now let us discuss about the perovskite structure in detail so the latest type of perovskite structure is primitive cubic the motif is for a ion it is 0 0 for b ion it is half 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 and for oxygen ion that is o ion it is half half 0 0 half half and half 0 half so it has one formula unit per unit cell so the coordination number is determined by the b cations and a cations the b cations is surrounded by oxygen octahedra which shares corners whereas a cation is surrounded by oxygen doctahedra which touches faces of the octahedra so an important parameter about the perovskite is their tolerance factor the tolerance factor is defined as t and it is given as ra plus ro divided by root 2 times rb plus ro where ra correspond to the radius of an ion ro correspond to radius of oxygen and rb correspond to radius of b atom this is derived for the geometry of a cube in which the atoms are of such sizes that they touch each other and hence face diagonal of the unit cell would be times the unit cell length as a result t is 1 for a perfect cubic perovskite however due to variations in the ionic radii of various ions many perovskites show deviations from t is equal to 1 and may not even have a cubic structure deviation from t is equal to 1 signify the level of lattice distortion for example barium titanate as we have discussed earlier barium titanate that is batio3 is a perovskite structure and has a cubic structure as we have discussed abo3 is perovskite structure so in this case also there are three types of atoms that is barium titanium and oxygen so barium titanate structure only above 120 degree celsius it is cubic while it is tetragonal at room temperature and further adopts orthorhombic and rhombohedral structure if cooled below room temperature so the other perovskite structure types which can be mentioned in the slides are there are various combinations of ionic valency and perovskite can also have various combination of ionic valency 
such as A2 plus B4 plus O4 and the examples of such type are barium titanate, lead titanate, calcium titanate, strontium titanate and so on. The other possibility is A3 plus B3 plus O4 and the examples for this combination are lanthanum aluminium oxide that is La, Al, O3, lanthanum La, Ga, O3 and bismuth ferrite that is Bi, Fe, O3. There are some other mixed perovskites for example lead oxide with magnesium and niobium doped second is lead oxide with sc and tantalum doped these are other mixed oxides which have perovskite structure so students you can see the example of barium titanate which we have discussed so this figure shows the phase diagram you can say which varies with temperature this means that the phase of the unit cell or the structure of unit cell varies as the temperature varies from 150 to 200 degrees Celsius. So you can see that at room temperature the structure of barium titanate is tetragonal and above 120 degrees Celsius it is cubic. However below 0 degrees Celsius if we talk about lower temperatures, the structure can be rhombohedral or orthorhombic according to the conditions of the temperature. The next example is the temperature dependence of dielectric constant. So the figure shown on the bottom left corner shows the variation of relative dielectric constant with temperature. So students one can see that the dielectric constant drastically increases or varies at a particular range of temperatures. So the points where we are seeing the random variation correspond to phase change from one to another. Now let us discuss about REO3 structures. These REO3 structures are representative oxides. The stoichiometry for such structures are MX3 and the lattice type is primitive cubic. The atomic positions for the M and X are for M it is 0, 0, 0 and for X it is half 0, 0. The coordination numbers for M and X are the coordination number is 6 corresponding to M and it has octahedral coordination whereas the coordination 2 correspond to X type and it has linear coordination. Such structures can be visualized as perovskite structures which are ABO3 structures with empty B sites. Representative oxides examples are REO3, OO3, WO3 and so on. Such oxides can be used for gas sensing and electromorphic applications. Structure of REO3 So students, you can see three figures. All the figures correspond to REO3 structure. In all the three cases, the red atom correspond to oxygen whereas the blue atom correspond to cation. As we have discussed earlier, such structures are similar to perovskite structures that is ABO3 with an existence of B type atoms. So you can see in the figure that the cations occupy the corners whereas oxygen occupy the edges. So such structures are REO3 type structures. Now come cesium chloride type structures that is CSCL structures. Such structures are AB or MX type of structures and some of the examples are halides 
such as calcium chloride, silver iodide, silver bromide, etc. It has eightfold or cubic coordination, and the other examples for such type of structures are rock salt structured oxide at high pressures. Adoption by chlorides, bromides, and iodides of larger ions also categorized in this category. The cesium chloride type structures have primitive cubic lattice, and the motifs are. For anion X, it is zero zero zero. For cation M, it is half half half. So it has one formula unit per unit cell. Now let us analyze the structure of cesium chloride. As we have discussed in the previous slide, it is MX type compound. So there are only two types of atom, that is M and X. Here, M are represented by green color, and they occupy the center position. Whereas, X atoms are represented by yellow in color and occupy the corners of the unit cell. So, from here, it is clear that the motif C S will be half 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 for M type of atoms. And for X type of atoms, it is zero zero zero. So one formula unit per unit cell. The another representation is the ball stick model. There are two types of atoms. One is anion and cation. Cation is placed at the centers, whereas anions are placed at the corners. Now here comes perovskite unit based non cubic compounds. So, what do we mean by non-cubic compounds? So, non-cubic compounds where the unit cell is not cubic. Many superconductors follow the structures which contain perovskite units. That is, the structure contains the perovskite structured units stacked along C axis. Or zero zero one direction in most of the cases. So zero zero one direction is not necessary in every case. It can be any axis. So the examples of superconductors are yttrium barium copper oxide. So here Y stands for yttrium, barium B A, copper C U, and oxygen O. So the formula for yttrium barium copper oxide is Y B A two C U three O seven, and there are various other ferroelectrics which are perovskite unit based on non-unic, non-cubic compounds like bismuth titanium oxide. So bismuth is B I, titanium is T I, and oxygen is so O. And the oxygen is O, so the compound is Bi four Ti three O twelve. So there are list of many ferroelectrics and superconductor compounds which are perovskite unit but non-cubic compounds. So in some compounds such as lanthanum that is La, strontium Sr. Copper Cu oxygen O so lanthanum strontium copper oxide. The structure is composed of alternating perovskites and rock salt structural units. So in this case, there is an alternative layer of rock salt and perovskite. So it is one perovskite, one rock salt, then perovskite, and then rock salt structure. So such a way of representing these structures make it easy to understand these complex structures. So here we will take the examples of yttrium barium copper oxide, that is Y B O, that is Y B A C U and O, and the next we will be taking the example of lanthanum strontium copper oxide, that is L A. S R C U and O. Then we will be discussing briefly about these structures.
नाउ कम्स येट्रियम बेरियम कॉपर ऑक्साइड और वाई बी सी ओ कंपाउंड द पेरेंट कंपाउंड इज वाई थ्री सी यू थ्री थ्री प्लस ओ नाइन विच ऑल्सो कंटेन्स पेरिस्काइट यूनिट्स द डोपिंग ऑफ येट्रियम दैट इज वाई बाय बेरियम दैट इज बी ए लीड्स टू स्ट्रक्चर मॉडिफिकेशन एज वेल एज reduction of cu3+ to cu2+ state and therefore resulting in reduction in the number of required oxygen ions and hence create oxygen vacancies in the structure this gives a transition temperature of 92 kelvin below which the compound has zero electrical resistance that is it is a superconductor and the reaction which guide it is by 3 cu33 plus o9 on doping with barium gives y ba2 cu3 o9 however when there is a reduction of cu3 plus to cu2 plus the compound which is formed is y ba2 cu22 plus cu3 plus o7 minus x Now let us analyze the structure of yttrium barium copper oxide that is YBA2CU3O7 minus X. It is a perovskite structured superconductor. So this is the origin of the structure of YBA2CU3O7 minus X as a triple perovskite unit. So you can see. the reaction which we have discussed in the previous slide you can see the modification of structure here also so moving from left most corner to right most corner in the left most corner the compound which is y3cu3 plus o9 has a structure which has oxygen copper and x valence sites when the barium is doped in this compound the barium occupy the centered or body center position it replaces the yttrium so the barium is not completely replaced by the yttrium positions so one place yttrium is shown and the other two places barium is shown when the oxidation or reduction occurs so in the present case reduction is occurring when the cu3 plus is reduced to cu2 plus the compound which is formed is shown on the extreme right side now this slide show the atomic coordinates in ybco compound so we have discussed that the coordination number for cuo sheet is 5 and it is 4 for cuo chains which you can see in this structure so here cu coordination number is of great interest cu2 plus atoms have four fold coordination along cu o chains whereas cu3 plus atoms have five fold coordination in cu o planes so you can see from this figure that how the coordination number changes as the states are changes with cu3 plus to cu2 plus lanthanum strontium copper oxide that is la2 minus x srx cu o4 so here la is lanthanum sr is strontium cu is copper and o is oxygen so the formula for lanthanum strontium copper oxide is la2 minus x srx cuo4 so here x resembles the amount of strontium which is present in this compound so the strontium is replacing lanthanum so the amount of strontium which is present is replaced by lanthanum that's why it is 2 minus x 
So the parent compound in this is lanthanum copper oxide because strontium is a dopant. So the lanthanum copper oxide is La2CuO4 which is actually a mixture of one rock salt structure compound that is LaO and one perovskite structure compound that is LaCuO3. So it can also be written as LaO dot or times LaA. So it can also be written as LaO dot LaCuO3. So the structure shows a layered structure with layers stacked as A4O, AO4, A4O as shown in the next slide where A is lanthanum and O is oxygen. So the substitution of lanthanum by strontium results in the compound which is lanthanum strontium copper oxide and turning it into a superconductor with a Curie's temperature of 35 Kelvin. So students, you can see that with doping, how the structure changes and with change in structure, how the properties changes. Now let us see the structure of lanthanum strontium copper oxide that is La2 minus X SRX CuO4. So this structure is actually a mixture of one rock salt structure compound which we have discussed in the previous slide. So you can see in this figure the origin of La2-XSRXCuO4 structure and on the right hand side you can see the two perovskite unit cell which is forming this compound. So it is clear from the left figure that the top cube is the perovskite layer. So when two perovskite layer form, they form an NaCl structure layer. Moreover, you can see the two perovskite unit cell that is one perovskite layer which we have discussed on the left hand side and second is the layer having CuO2 and AO4 geometry. So students, let us summarize what we have learned in this module. So we have first discussed about the simple cubic packing of anions followed by various structures which are commonly found in the literature or in nature. So the first is the perovskite. Perovskite is very common structure and it has wide range of applications. So the first is the cesium chloride that is CSCl where CS is cesium and Cl is chloride. Next we have discussed about REO3 structures where they are representative oxides. Next we have discussed about the perovskite structures which is also a repeatable unit in various anisotropic structures such as of many superconductors like yttrium barium copper oxide and various ferroelectrics like bismuth titanate. Thank you.